what's going on YouTube in this week's video I just got a real quick one for you and it's all about personalization or automation which one is best for you hang out for a few minutes and let's talk yo welcome back to the channel everybody and this week's video, like I said in the beginning, is going to be all about personalized responses versus automated responses. Which one is best for you? Hmm. You have my undivided attention. But first, thank you to everybody who has continued to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to do the same hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. I put these things out every single week as you guys who've been following me know and I'll just keep on doing it. So never miss a video and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell notification. Okay, now let's get into it. Let's talk quickly. Personalized responses versus automated responses. Client comes to your website, they fill out an inquiry form, they want to know about prices or services or everything that you offer as a DJ. When a client does that, how do you respond? What's the best way to do it? There are a ton of different DJ CRMs and tools out there that allow you to send a client automated responses that may have your contract already attached, maybe a pre-canned response that just says, hey, thank you, here's all our information. If you'd like to talk more, if you'd like to have a consultation, this is how you do it. Some tools will even allow a client to schedule that meeting with you, which will automatically put the information on your calendar so you don't forget about it. When it comes to those automated tools that are out there, there's a lot of pros and cons to them. The pros, obviously, is that it saves you a tremendous amount of time. If you are a DJ that is just busy all the time, let's say, whether you're a solo op or even like a multi-op that's got a bunch of different guys and you're doing 5, 10, 15, 20 events a weekend and you're just all over the place and just trying to keep things track, an automated software is really, really good because those responses, you don't have to worry about them. Um, it saves you a ton of time and it just makes things a little bit more efficient for you and it's just, like I said, it's automated. So it just does the work for you and you don't have to spend the time to getting back to each each and every single one of your clients that reach out to you and you get, their, get them the, your information and they're good to go. If they want to do a consultation or if they just want to book immediately or whatever, they've got all the information right from your automated tools. Now what are the bad things about the automated tools? Well, the automated tools, you sort of lose that personalized touch. It's too robotic. Um, you don't have that one-to-one -one connection with your clients like you do whenever you send personalized responses to each and every person that reaches out to you through your website, social media, whatever. The personalization route is great because you sort of build a connection with the client when they reach out to you immediately. Uh, you can talk to them about their venue. You can talk to them about some ideas about their wedding that they might have in an initial uh, inquiry. Um, there's just a lot involved whenever you go to that personalized route. Yes, it's going to take you a lot more time. And there are a ton of DJs out there that prefer to do the personalized route because they build that connection. And a lot of times whenever you are assigning your clients, your clients are looking for that personalization, that, that true connection, um, because they don't look at it as uh, you are the type of DJ where all you care about is quantity over quality. So that's a big thing too. If you are a DJ that all you care about is trying to book as many events and weddings and all kinds of things as much as possible because maybe you do have multiple DJs or you're multi-op or you're just in it to try to make as much money as you possibly can then okay maybe the automation route does make sense but if you are really concerned about quality over quantity then the personalization route is really more for you um, you want to be able to talk one-to-one -one with your clients when they send you the inquiry. You want to connect with them right away. Um, and also, too, with the automated route, a lot of times people will send their quotes and their packages and prices and all that stuff right off the bat. 
Whereas with the personalization route, you can actually talk to your client a little bit more uh, before you send them a, a quote and try to understand a little bit more about what their event's going to entail so that you can supply them uh, the right type of package and the right type of services and the proper price point that makes sense for both of you guys. So there you go. Just real quick little comparison between automation versus personalization. Which one do you guys prefer? Do you prefer to go the automated route to make things easier? Or do you always, always, always want to personalize your responses back to your clients when they reach out to you uh, initially for that first consultation or that first bit of information? Do you like the personalized route? Is it, or is it too much work? Is it are you spending too much time on it? Or do you use one of the automated tools and CRMs that are out there to handle all that information right off the bat for you? Comment below, let me know which one you prefer, which one you do, and let's chat about it. There's no right or wrong way for either one. It just comes down to you as a DJ, what matters to you, what's easiest for you, what's more efficient for you, what's quickest for you, um, or how you want to be able to connect with a client when they first reach out to you with that touch point to get a little bit more information about your business, your services, what you do, all that good stuff. As always, thank you again to everyone who has kept watching all my videos. And as I always say at the end of every single one of my videos, a day without dancing is a day wasted. Until next week, friends, take care.